Hey, I'm John Siskovich and I'm sitting right behind some of my chicken tractors because I want to talk about the wheels that I use to keep these things mobile, moving on pasture, get the birds on fresh grass, get them away from their manure. Let's cover exactly what this little dirty wheel is all about. So for these wheels, I have an axle on the back of the chicken tractor. It's just a six inch galvanized carriage bolt. And with that axle, I have 24 of these chicken tractors on farm. And if I were to buy 24 sets of wheels, it would be very expensive. So I wanted them for me personally uh, to be able to slide on and off. And I got these at Tractor Supply. They're like 13 or 14 bucks. And it's a solid wheel. There's no air in here. This is a solid piece of rubber. And then there's a ball bearing in here and it's metal. Uh, and that comes to our benefit. And let me tell you why. So with these wheels, having the metal right here, uh, you have two different options when you're buying these wheels. You can either buy the metal ones or the plastic ones, and they both have their flaws. The flaws with the metal ones is that these ball bearings, while the ball bearings last, the inset of the ball bearing pops out of this metal wheel. I have another one right here where on one side, I still have the ball bearing. On the other side, it's popped out, and it's got a bigger hole. The problem you run into with that is it doesn't always stay on the bolt if you're moving the chicken tractor longer than your daily move. Um, and you know, there's no real way around it. They just kind of fell apart and that happens. Uh, initially to get them to stay in, I tack welded it a little bit there, a little bit there. Uh, so the whole thing doesn't push out. I had problems with that initially and that welding really solved that issue for me. But eventually they break down and you gotta replace the wheels. I get an average of maybe three years out of each set of wheels and at $13 a wheel, it's worthwhile, you use it all the time. If you only have one chicken tractor and you're not using it as heavy as we do uh, with 24 chicken tractors, it may last you a lot longer, but again, it's my scenario. So then the other one is the plastic wheels. Uh, same thing where they have a solid rubber wheel, but it's all plastic on the inside, not metal, and it's got a longer plastic you know, hole in there. And what I found with that plastic hole, it fits nicely over that bolt, but because it's plastic, it starts to wear just a little bit on the inside, or if you get a, a piece of grass stuck in there, it'll start to bind and it's hard to slide on and off the bolt. Um, so I have a set of plastic wheels, but I don't use them that much because I found that they were binding so much that you end up standing there holding the chicken tractor, fighting the wheel, and it just makes for a miserable chores experience. Um, I had a lot of questions on the wheels, wanted to make a video to highlight that specifically. Nine inch tractor supply, like tractor wheels uh, for just super simple. The simple, the more simple uh, it is, the better and the longer it's gonna last. Uh, things with more moving parts tend to break. Uh, just, you know, that's the thing. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Thanks for listening to me yammer. And until next time, I'll see you out in the field. I hope that picked it up. Super directional, so probably not. No, 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 leave a recording. Scott just farted. Yeah!